So on my mind today is that I'm gonna tell you all the best games that I played in 2022 so far on the Switch and I have to say that this is one of the better years for me personally because all of the games that are in the genres that I truly enjoy they've been dropped like every month this year almost. It's been so many good games and I'm just gonna go over all of them with you today. I'm gonna start off with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Do you guys remember when I reviewed this game? You guys were shocked that I gave it a 10 out of 10. I totally did. The game lived up to every expectation. Oh, I didn't have much expectations, but it lived up to something. So yeah, Snooty is a big boy now. I think he's hormonal too. It lived up to every expectation that I didn't even know that I had. It's such a good game. Totally recommend that for everyone. Watch my review of that. I've reviewed all of these games, I think. That's what it's like when you have a gaming YouTube channel. I review games, you know. Snooda! Ja, akkurat, ja, der skal du ligge. And then Kirby and the Forgotten Land came out, but it's not like the best game that I've played this year. I'm just mentioning it, that it was a game. It was not such a game, it was a game. It was fun for the little time that I played it. The next on my note is Rune Factory 5. Okay, do you guys remember how much I loved Rune Factory 5? Over 100 hours in it. I made two videos on my channel about that game. It's a life simulator, it's a farming game, but it's also an action combat game with magic and all sorts of things. It's just a game that combines a lot of things into one, which I love. Now it did struggle on the Switch, frame drops and stuff, but it didn't take away my enjoyment at all. I love the game, I still love the game. Such a heart and soul game. So Rune Factory 5, that is a game that's actually gonna make it into my um, top games of the year video that I'm gonna drop in December. Also did a review of that. Spoiler alert, that is one of the highlights of this year for me so far, Rune Factory 5. Now I'm gonna mention that Live Alive, people corrected me and said it's Live Alive. Anyways, that's the game. Have not completed that game. Now Two Point Campus, I've talked a lot about that. <laughs> also in the vlog that I did with Tiny Huts, where we were driving around and giving first impressions on Two Point Campus. Also cats are included in that video. They are also games that came out this year, but now we're getting into the best ones. I mean there were Pokemon Legends Arceus, Rune Factory 5, and now we're getting into Atelier Sophie 2. Such an JRPG game. Very, very good. I made a review of this also. Of course I did. Very cozy game. You know what? I still haven't completed the main storyline. I'm at the end of the game. What? What happened there? Sometimes I play a game up to the end point and I'm like, I don't want this to end. So, you know, I'm gonna save that for later sort of thing. Because yeah, I grew very fond of Atelier Sophie 2. Such a beautiful game. So there you go. Now, of course, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is also one of my highlights of this year. Am I right? Am I right, guys? I am sure a lot of you are still playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I know I am, you know, combined with my Skyrim obsession that I'm having for my 40th time in my life. I always go back to that game. Now I'm, I've gone back, but anyways. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I think it's better than Torna and 2. Uh, not necessarily better than the first Xenoblade Chronicles, which I love so much. I have all of my Xenoblade games on my table right now because I thought maybe I would do a video with Xenoblade. Just a nerd off on those. I don't know. We'll see. So that is my list of the best games so far this year. And the year is not over, but I don't know what else is gonna come. I think I'm gonna address the elephant in the room, not Snorre. He's not an elephant in the room. Oops. I got married, guys. Little personal information on my YouTube channel. And I think I'm gonna upload the wedding video sort of thing on my secondary channel. We will see, I haven't decided yet, but you will see it. I'm not gonna keep everything a secret. We also did a podcast episode where we talked about the entire we we wedding. <laughs> Very big wedding episode. <laughs> As I said in the podcast. So the podcast is Disky Disc. You can listen to that anywhere. I recommend listening to that on head... 
headsets. And which brings me to new game stuff. This is all of a sudden turning into a Happy Console Gamer episode. He has this series where he shows off all the new game stuff and he calls it New Game Stuffs, <laughs> episode 140 or something. The number just goes up. But I thought I would show you... I bought these Razer headsets. They are the Black Shark V2X. And I saw a YouTuber rage about them because they are like the best headset ever or something. Very happy with those. They're cute, they're comfortable, they're really bendable. You know what? I use these for music when I'm taking my walk. You know, I have a headset for every single location. PC headset, PlayStation 5 headset, Switch headset. So, Razer Black Shark V2X. Very nice, I bought them myself. Also, I'm such a Razer fangirl these days. I also bought a Razer chair upstairs. Okay, so another new game stuff. Look at this. It's a headset from Sony. Sony sent these to me and I am playing my Switch now with these. Ow! Snurre! <laughs> you put his claw into my ass. So good. So comfortable. They have noise cancelling. So these are premium headsets. These ones does not have that. This is a budget headset. Now this is more on the premium side. Comfortable on the head. It's lightweight. I'm very much liking these. I'm playing my Switch on these. Whoa! Snurra! It's gonna be castrated soon. They are designed for PlayStation 5, but they are Bluetooth, so they work on everything. Okay, now this is funny. I got this as a wedding present from neighbor Stefan. He made this. Now, bear with me. Do you see that? He made this with his woodworking skills, which are probably at level 100 by now. He totally handmade this stuff as a wedding present to me. <laughs> I love it! So that is very nice. Thank you, neighbor Stefan. Go over to his channel. He just round his switch and PS4 in water. What the hell? And to wrap this video up, because we have to wrap this up, I got this in my post box from Andrea. Post box. What is this? I've never seen this game before. Possessed Edition Madison. Never seen it before. Look, it's a key. Madison key. Who developed this game? Bloodius Games? Why have I never heard about this game? I like to believe that I know of every game in the universe, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Blood curling psychological horror game. <laughs> I get scared only thinking about that. I also have another letter that came with my copy of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 from uh, my people, Nintendo of Norway. Also some postcards. That was a video with the best games of this year on the Switch. Combined with new game stuff. Combined with what? <laughs> and a lot of snurrev. He's gonna get a big kiss and a hug right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Check out this disc. The podcast, I mean. <laughs>